Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how Census and Mixpanel works well together. So here you have a typical user profile in Mixpanel. You can see that we have a bunch of events already. And then we I went ahead and created some uh, custom properties on the user profile here. So last event, you can pass owner email, things like that. Typically, these are kind of like insights or aggregate metrics that have been computed into your warehouse. So let's use Census to bring that data into Mixpanel. So this is census and everything in census start with connecting a warehouse and a services. In our case, I already connected our demo instance, uh, which is a Redshift instance, and I already connected uh, Mixpanel here. But to connect Mixpanel is very easy. You just need a project token, an API secret that you can find in your project settings. So the next step is to create a model. In our case, I have this one that essentially get data about our users and do a join here. So if I do a quick preview, we should see all the data that I need for Mixpanel. So as you can see here, we have aggregated action count, like date calculated, and other type of metrics that we want to have in our Mixpanel instance. So this looks good to me. So the next step is to go ahead and create a sync. So to create a sync, you pick your destination, in our case, the Redshift demo instance, and then you pick a source model. For us, it's the one that I just showed you, the golden user one. Then you pick the destination. So today we'll pick Mixpanel. And then you need to pick the object you want to add data to or create. Uh, so we support event. So in the case of, for example, you ingest all your events inside your warehouse or you want to join your data uh, to create new events, you can do so here. And we also support user profile. And so for user profile, which is the one that we're going to use today, uh, we support the upset method, which is which means that if we detect an existing user, we'll update them. And if we don't detect uh, the user in Mixpanel, we'll create one for you. To do so, we need a distinct ID. So Mixpanel requires just a distinct ID here. And in our case, our ID is already in our warehouse. So we'll pick that up from the dropdown. So now you can start adding the mapping. So for example, one, one we wanted is like action count. And so you can see it automatically mapped to the column name in my warehouse. You could add them one by one like this, or in our case with Mixpanel, you can click all from source and you can see all of our data is automatically added and mapped it to map to Mixpanel. In our, in our case today, we're not, we don't care about the version number, so we'll remove that from our mapper. Next step is to do, click next and create a sync. So I'll trigger a sync as I create it. While the sync is running now, um, I want to call out your attention on the sync, scheduling the sync. So you go to configuration, you pick the frequency or the schedule you want. Manual is simply going to the census UI and clicking the sync now button here. It's useful for debugging purposes, but really what you want is to set up a sync. So typically we see people using daily, hourly, or continuous. For today, we'll use hourly. And we'll set up like this. Uh, the great thing with all our sync is that they are incremental. This means that we're only going to sync the data that has changed since the previous sync. That means all of our sync are really fast and don't use that much API quota. And so now if I come back here, we should see the sync finish running in a couple of seconds. There we go. So now if I go back to my mix panel demo instance, I can click refresh and we see all of our data is now available on our user object here. And so now I can go back to the user and for example, I can create a new uh, code called that use action count. And we're gonna say everybody has, who has more than 20 action, 20 action sorry, is gonna be a power user. So let's rename that code here. There we go. And so now I've created that new uh, code. I can go into my dashboard here and here I have a very simplistic uh, funnel. And so I can use that new code that I just created off of data from my warehouse to filter that dashboard. That's it. And so in a couple of minutes, I'll show you how you can connect your warehouse to Mixpanel to enhance user profile and also ingest events straight to Mixpanel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.